Git, a version control system that maintains different versions of the project when we work in a team or as an individual. And GitHub is the provider of internet hosting for software development and version control using Git. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Git in Ubuntu operating system and publish your project into GitHub using Git. So let's get started. So if you want to check if Git is already installed into your system or not, just open your terminal. So for that, just type Ctrl, Alt and T for shortcut or you can just go in show applications and source for terminal and just click enter so this will open the terminal and to check if git is already installed into your system or not just type git hyphen hyphen version and if it shows something like command git not found then git is not installed into your system so to install git so just type sudo apt and just type install and just type git and enter your password so just type y and just click enter so now this will install the git into your ubuntu operating system so once this is done just type git and just type hyphen hyphen version and if it shows some version like this then the git is properly installed into your system so once you install the git to push your project into the github so let me just go to the browser and search for github.com so if you have already created the github account so you can directly sign in so if you haven't created the one so you can just click on this sign up and quickly add your information here and just type email and just create one password and just type some username which is available so let me just type something like origin codes demo one and just click on continue and just press on y and just press on create account so let me just quickly get this code from my gmail and put it here so let me paste it here and let me just skip this personalization so here you can see our new github account has been created successfully so once this is created so let me just create one folder inside this desktop so let me just go here and just right click and just click on this new folder let me call it demo or you can give any name so inside this demo i just want to create some files so for that let me just right click and just press on open in terminal and just type touch so this will create the new file so just type demo.txt and inside here i just want to write some of the text here or you can just create some java files or javascript or python whichever you want or you prefer so let me just type get it and just type demo.txt so inside here i just want to write something so this is demo for pushing your project in github using git in ubuntu so let me just Control s to save this one and let me just close everything from here so once you do that so i will just keep this terminal as it is here and once you do that so let me again go to the browser here and just click on this plus sign and just click on this new repository so this will create the new repository here and for name so we will write the same name as our folder so it's not necessary so for easiness i will just put the demo here and you can just give some description here so for now i will just write something like demo project and if you want to keep this as public so everyone will see your repository so if you want to just keep it in within yourself so you can just choose this private as well so for now i will just keep this private and just click on this create repository so this will create the repository here so here you can see all the instruction command so which you should be using to push your uh, project from your local repository to your remote repository so again let me just go to the terminal here and inside this demo let me just type git init so this will initialize this repository with dot git extension so let me just clear this terminal first and just type git status so here you can see so the files available to add into this git are this demo.txt only so for adding this file so we can just type git add and if i just type dot so this will add all the available file just click enter so now if i just type git status here so you can see on new files in green text demo dot text has been added so once you added the file so you just need to commit with some message so for that just type git commit hyphen m and just type first commit and if i just press enter so this will show some error here so this error is nothing but you have to 
put your email and username as the global configuration so for that the command are already given here so just type git config and just type global user dot email and just give the email address which you have used to create your github account so in my case i will just type arjun coach demo at the red gmail.com and just click enter and similarly give the username of your github account as well so just type git config global user dot name and just type arjun coach demo in my case and give your username and just click enter so this should be done only once so from next time so you don't need to put it again so just type git commit hyphen m and first commit again so which is the same command which we have used here and just click enter and here you can see one file change and one insertion so let me just type git remote add origin so in origin so we just have to give the link of our remote repository so for copying this so we can just click here so this will automatically copy and again go to the terminal here and just right click and just click on this paste and just click enter so this will add the remote origin and if i just now try to push this so this will again so one error just type git push hyphen u origin master so if i just click enter and enter my username so my username is origin codes demo one and enter my password so this will show some error so i will also show how to fix this error as well so i have got separate video for that also but i will show here as well so support for password authentication was removed on august 13 2021 so to fix this issue so we just have to go to the browser and github account again and just click here on this profile and just click on this setting and again just go down here and you will find the developer settings so just click on that and you just need to click on this personal access token and just click on generate new token and in note so you can give some note like github and for expiration so you can just choose the custom date so i will just choose no expiration and you just need to choose the scope so for easy so i will just choose all the scopes and just click on this generate token and let me just click here to copy this token and again go to the terminal and again just type the same command so for that just press an up arrow so this will again show the same command and just click on enter so it will again ask for your username so just type origin codes demo one again or your username again and just click enter and instead of your password so just right click and just click on paste so this will automatically paste though it won't show the password characters here and just click enter so now you can see it's showing counting objects 100 person and branch master so you can see though it has been pushed into this remote repository so let me just click here directly or you can again go to the browser again and let me just go into this profile and click on this your profile so here you can see the demo projects which we have just created and inside here i can just go and here you can see the first commit which which is the message commit we have given and if i just go inside this demo text here so you can see this is the demo for pushing your project in github using git in ubuntu so this is the text which we have written in our local repository as well so this is how you install git into your ubuntu operating system and also push your projects as well as your local repository or any folder into your github account thank you so much for watching if you like my video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel I will see you in the next one.